I've been working for 10 years at the Jewish Federation of Greater Metro West New Jersey. I support all four of our local Jewish day schools in the areas of academic excellence and affordability and sustainability. It is deeply meaningful work that has allowed me personally to see so many of my own values come to life. Paula and Jerry Gottesman created a vision for Jewish education in Greater Metro West. Rebecca facilitated that vision and brought it to life. As director of the Day School Initiative, Rebecca brings to her job a momentum and a power that is informed by her passion for the Jewish community as it's seen through the eyes of Federation, as her devotion as a parent to children in Joseph Kushner Hebrew Academy. The Tuition Max program is an affordability program that caps tuition at a percentage of income for middle income families who qualify. And the idea is that no matter how many children go to the school, your tuition will be capped at a maximum of 18%. This is what we do. It was as simple as it could be. It was one application. Wherever they could, they made it systematic. When she looks at the 1,400 families we have in our four schools, she doesn't see them as a group. This is both my lifeblood and it is also the work that I do, which is why that my work doesn't feel in any way like work and it feels like a love. As an authentic leader who presents with great integrity, confidence and poise, has the emotional and cognitive wisdom to direct people to understand the inner core of each idea and to create consensus so that all of us together could rally behind what we share in common. She is extremely devoted to the ideals of Greater Metro West, which is affordability and excellence, and really sees the relationship between the two. It is something that's now nationally renowned and truly being replicated across the country. It's really amazing to see that a seed you plant in one year and slowly, slowly, slowly water over time can become a tree. But it has truly been the most rewarding work that I never could have anticipated when I walked into the building in Whippany 10 years ago. I am so proud to be an ambassador of our federation in this community and in Greater Metro West at large. It's been extremely gratifying that Rebecca, together with Federation, has partnered with us to create an energy and a momentum to attract families to move to the greater Metro West community. And Rebecca is responsible for those marketing programs. So things like Smart Move, and now we're introducing Smart Switch. These are incentives to have people move to our community, or if you already live in our community, to come and try our day schools. Things were shutting down and people were in need. She really just went ahead and did what needed to happen in order to support the families and the schools. And it was just remarkable to watch. Rebecca, on behalf of Federation, reached out to the school as a friend would in a time of need and asked, how could we be helpful? How could we make sure that the families of our community to co would continue to enroll in the Shiva despite the fact that there were great pressures and the unknowns. We were able to support nearly 200 families with $300,000 thanks to the Day School Council and private donors and the Jewish Federation of Greater Metro West in order to help families at a time that they really needed it most. Toward the beginning of the pandemic when a lot of people were home-based and were kind of uh, slacking off a little bit, just getting used to working from home, I noticed that we don't have a lock on our closet, but she more or less locked herself in the closet. It was the only place in our house that was quiet. She is the advocate for day school families in our community. I agreed to accept this honor this year as a way of shining a spotlight on the really unbelievable work of the Jewish Federation of Greater Metro West in our community. I also want to express Hakarat Hatov to my in-laws Beth and Lee Hinden for their contributions to this community. Always having the community on our mind is something that 
my parents really have been role models for. H.O.'s grandfather rescued a safer Torah. It was a Torah that bore witness to the atrocities of the Holocaust. And in 2019, Eitan's parents gave it to the school. My grandparents were Holocaust survivors and deeply valued Jewish education. And my father was educated at a Jewish day school and it was one of the foundations for his life and something that he passed on to his children. Uh, my parents volunteered a lot. And my grandmother, who's alive and well and living in Toronto, who has given me a zest for life and a will to speak up. And so Jewish day school education is really, it's a part of my DNA. A Jewish continuity cannot continue without Jewish education. I want my children to see and to understand that Jewish education is the fundamental and everlasting investment that we make in our children. I'm really grateful that Krishna decided to honor my mom. My friends don't really know exactly what my mom does for the school and they might not really understand it, but I know that she makes a really big impact in everyone's lives and I'm really appreciative of that. I know that she makes a very big difference and I love her a lot. Love you, Mommy. I really could not do the work that I have done this past year and these last 10 years if it were not for Aton. All the work that I've done on behalf of the schools, I have really only been able to do because Aton has been supporting me throughout. And he is my Ishrael. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud of her and I, I, I think that it's really special to me that the institution that I'm a graduate of is honoring my wife. Rebecca, Rivka, we are thrilled and humbled to recognize you tonight for all of your devotion and dedication to the Joseph Kushner Hebrew Academy, Ray Kushiva High School, to Greater Metro West, to every single student in our community that attends a Jewish day school because your legacy will be one that will inspire Jewish schools and federations for years to come. Thank you. It means a lot to be part of an evening that recognized the truly dedicated faculty and staff, and especially Dr. Steve Stein. I'm humbled to share this evening with him and with the teachers of the Joseph Kushner Hebrew Academy and Ray Kushner Yeshiva High School. We are proud to honor Rivka Hinden at the Joseph Kushner Hebrew Academy, Ray Kushner Shiva High School's 73rd annual dinner. To thank you for all you have done for Jewish education and our greater Metro West Jewish day schools. We are proud to present you this evening with a beautiful one-of-a-kind paper cut designed by Israeli artist Mikol Bayer of Mikol Designs. The inscription on this paper cut reads as follows. Kemaim hapanim lapanim ken leva adam la adam. Just as one's face reflects when one's looking into water, so too one's heart is reflected in one another. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.